day one. I'm out here at Scout and Frodo's. We're getting ready to head on out. First is breakfast. And there is everybody taking pictures. Yeah, At least we just say we knew you take. First road walk of the PCP. It's only 9.30 and it's starting to get hot, but uh, it's pretty nice out here in the shade. There's even these nice big grass pockets, and uh, from what I understand, there's a water source just right up the way. So the climbs out of here are no joke. Make sure you're taking plenty of breaks and drinking drinking water when you can. We cameled up at the first water source and then cameled up at the second water source and still making sure that we're drinking plenty but definitely feeling it. It's only in the 80s, I imagine it's gonna get pretty wor it's gonna get worse as you uh, get later on in the season, so make sure you're taking adequate care and getting your sun protection and drinking your water. Cheers. Day one. Managed 11.3 miles today. Was a pretty brutal hike. It uh, got pretty warm. I think it got into the low 80s. We were a little concerned we weren't going to find a camping spot because uh, there's only a couple of tent sites on the gut hooks at mile 11.4. But I managed to actually find this little campsite right here. It have it'd hold three tents pretty easy, plus a bunch of ca uh, cowboy campers if they wanted to. But that's it for tonight. I'm I'm done. It, it was uh, it was a long climb, but it wasn't too bad for somebody even out of shape like I am. But it definitely is long. So see you tomorrow. Day two was a pretty rough night last night. I was hurting pretty bad. Um, it was pretty much fine in the morning, but uh, I was having problems like twisting over and stuff like that. That's probably to be expected on the first day. Um, other thing I didn't expect is there are a lot of like little mosquito-y type bugs out in the desert. I was thinking that was kind of more of a province of like forests and stuff. But anyway, I thought I'd show you the campsite we stayed at last night. It was a great spot. Nobody, nobody joined us, but there's plenty of room up here. There's the entrance to the campsite, by the way. It doesn't really look like there's a campsite up here, but if you go up there, you'll see it.
see we came up and down that ridge and the trail winds back down and zigzags then you come down to the bottom of Hauser Canyon a lot of people uh, talk about the climb out but uh, the climb down was actually pretty bad too mainly because of all the water there's a bunch of washout parts of the trail so it's uh, mildly treacherous trying to hike down holy hell that was no joke so the haul into Hauser Canyon and the haul out of Hauser Canyon are pretty tough I would imagine if you're in shape maybe not so much or if the weather was cooler but we got the high 80s today and then top it off with a water carry I am yeah but let's go get a veggie burger end of day two who'd have thought I'd want to spend my birthday feeling like I've been beaten by a hot dry dirty stick but I'm actually out here doing it been talking about it for years and now now it's actually gonna happen uh, anyway did about 9.4 miles today a little bit shorter than uh, the previous day but we've been trying to take it easy a little bit um, so we're staying here at many at Lake Marina and we're hoping to get an early start tomorrow morning uh, it's one thing that I've discovered I need to work on is getting out of here faster. We got up at like 5, 545 today, hoping we could uh, beat the heat out of Hauser Canyon. Wound up not leaving the campsite until like 7 o'clock. And it's just mainly because it took us so long to break down camp. And uh, I also need to worry, work on uh, getting it to be a bit quieter. There's nobody in our campsite, so it wasn't a big deal. But uh, definitely was making a lot of noise. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Day three, walking the section of the PCT that we missed this morning, last night, because we hiked into the campground, through the campground, rather than on the PCT. Yeah, semantics, but whatever. Uh, campground was pretty noisy. I would recommend earplugs. Not so much the campground itself, but the uh, neighboring houses and stuff. Lots of barking dogs and turkeys. Yeah, turkeys. And uh, some guy working on an old ratty motorcycle or something last night and some hiker noise and stuff but uh it's ten dollar or five dollars a person and the showers are coin operated so if you go up to the store make sure you get some quarters if you want to take a shower here's the fancy car camping campgrounds and here's where us riffraff pct hay campers get to stay We have successfully forded our first creek.
climb into and out of Kitchen Creek. Be athletic. Day three. Managed about 10 miles today. It was uh, a little hilly, but pretty much cruisy. Not nearly as bad as the last couple of days. Either I'm growing more accustomed to this, or uh, it was just an easier day. Um, water carry out of uh, Kitchen Springs was pretty pretty rough. It was pretty much just a scramble on down there. It's a nice area, but we kind of wanted to go a little farther up the trail. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll hit Mount Laguna, and uh, that will be our first pit stop and resupply point. And anyway, that's pretty much all there is for today. Um, like I said, great day, feeling great, not hurting at all. So hopefully that's a sign that things are getting better. So see you tomorrow. Day four. Well, we slept right over a flight path last night, so every five or ten minutes it seemed like an airplane went whoosh down the down the canyon. Pretty windy spot, but uh, at least it was nice and secluded. Um, hoping to make it to Mount Laguna today. And uh, it's a fairly nice looking day today, so let's get going. These things all over our campsite. I don't know what they are. Are they like some kind of fruit, I think? Or are they like a, like a wasp nest? Like where they hibernate and stuff? Or I don't know. Kind of weird. starting to get a taste of that uh, California wind everybody all talks always talks about uh, not horrible at this elevation or this distance in but uh, you can definitely tell it's gonna be interesting it was pretty windy last night and shook the tent and everything but it wasn't too bad it's also amazing how much colder it can get when the Sun goes down and the wind starts blowing it always amazes me how uh, short the distances actually are because you can see the PCT way over there that's probably only like a mile. And it's crazy because you get on these ridges and you look back and you can just see it stretching forever. And we got smoke coming over there. Hopefully it's just a controlled burn and not like an actual fire. I haven't seen or heard anything. I'd imagine that we'd be hearing it from hikers and stuff if it was. But uh, hopefully um, that's probably just my Southern Oregon fire hell instincts kicking in. through a huge swarm of some kind of bee and it's like they left us alone for the most part but all I could think of was yeah they're Africanized down here yeah no didn't get stung or anything I just think there's a hive around there or something hopefully uh, hopefully we don't run into that again that wasn't particularly enjoyable desert and you wander across these big old trees. How much water does this thing need to get this big? Kind of nuts. I have no idea what type of tree it is. I should not be this hungry. Well obviously my appetite came back but I'm only day four and I'm already craving food that I can get out in Mount Laguna. I didn't eat anything the first night but uh when we got into Lake Morena and I had that veggie burger, it was like all of a sudden I was like, oh hey, food. Yeah, that'd be good. Today's lesson is, 
always make sure you keep your backup battery fully charged. So, my GoPro battery was dead last night, so I swapped it up for my back out or my backup, and I didn't recharge the other one. And guess what I did? I left the GoPro on all night. So I was at like 10% battery this morning. I got about half an hour worth of charging on it on the in the morning while I was breaking down camp, but uh, it's still pretty dead. So uh, I'm gonna have to be filming on the phone for a good part of the day, which is fine. I use the phone sometimes, but uh, I get the nice angled shots and wide action and all of that stuff and the nice smooth gimbal. And uh, I don't get any of that on my phone. Another round of obligatory BCT photos. Two paths diverge from the PCT. I will take the one most hilly, for that's usually the PCT. Hey, we're in an environment other than the desert. It smells really good. Day four. We uh, managed to make it into uh, Mount Laguna. Uh, the campground is really confusing. It's a big maze of stuff. You come right off the trail into the campground. So just follow the exit signs and uh, It'll eventually lead you out to the road and you take a right and anyway, we uh, did our resupply and uh, packed way too much food again. So going to be trying to give some of that away. Uh, wasn't too bad today. It was actually a fairly big climb and uh, it was, wasn't as bad as Mount Laguna or Lake Morena, but uh, I think that, you know, my hiker legs are starting to kick in because it was actually fairly easy to do. I'm not quite, not really sore. I uh, made it all the way in without being tired. Man, it's cold out here. You, you can tell by the jiggling camera that uh, my hands are shaking. Uh, it's kind of crazy. The, uh, oh man. Anyway. All right, there we go. Stabilize, stabilize the hands. Anyway, so, uh, anyway, that, yeah, that was it. Uh, long day, um, cold night. So, see you tomorrow.